Hi, I am Noriko Ogawa. I'm going to give you a short lesson on a piano duet piece, Hungarian Dance Number no. 5 by Brahms. I am playing on an upright from Yamaha Avant Grand, and the score appears on Pianist Magazine. Well, you might wonder, how is Noriko going to play a piano duet? Well, this is really amazing. I have now pre-recorded the bottom part and I played the top part with my own secondo part. Now, before you start playing a piano duet, please make sure that you're sitting on the correct position. Usually, if you play a solo piece, you sit in the center. When you play four hands piano duet, you have to sit a little bit higher or quite a lot lower for the second or part. Now let's try the first page of the piece. What an amazing way to practice, I have to say. It's very, very exciting. Now, this kind of rhythm, um, traveler's rhythm or gypsy rhythm, we, they used to call it, it, it has, it's a very, very free. So you have to do a lot of rubato, exaggerate everything possible when you have any opportunity. Now we are going to move on to the second page. Now, the, the same theme is being repeated, but it gets even more exciting. So make sure that you make big crescendo when you go into really high register. And then, everything should be really exaggerated because of the nature of this piece. Now you are going to hear extreme rubato. Brahms put poco ritardando, but I am actually taking liberty to do a bit more ritardando, just because the nature of this piece asks for it. You can really take some risks, you can really go for it, and dynamics, tempo, be dramatic. The next page has got vivace, so you really have to go for it. This is a fantastic opportunity, really, to keep having the same tempo with your partner, keep listening to each other and getting to the same kind of groove. You have to be very groovy to play this piece. Let's have a go. Now, this slower section, which has got poco ritardando, each part has got short crescendo. Now, we all know we cannot make any crescendo once you press a key. But by having this left hand, it really does help. So, 
This crescendo should be created by your left hand. Broken chords should be really broken quite slowly, not to crush like this. Be quite generous. And then suddenly a tempo. So quite a lot faster and then Again, be generous with your left hand. Let's try the same thing one more time. Now we are going to go back into the original theme. This Hungarian dance is in a clear ABA form. So after the Vivace section, we go back into the, uh, the familiar tune, but the difference is we are not going to repeat anything anymore. So what we can actually do instead of repeating is that to exaggerate the tempo differences. So retardando can be exaggerated and the dynamics it can also be exaggerated. I have just pre-recorded the secondo part for myself and I am going to play the primo part with my own secondo part. Let's have a go. This is a fantastic learning tool for playing the piano duet. Well, if you don't have your piano partner just at that moment that you'd really like to practice, this is really the way to go. And also you can experience another person's part and learn the other part so that you could really, really get to the bottom of this piece. Well, certainly for me, it has been really wonderful. I am really in a hurry to record now the primo part and try the secondo part to play with my primo part. I strongly recommend this experience. I hope you will enjoy playing this wonderful Hungarian dance number five by Brahms. <laughs> 